Phillips curve is an economic concept that seeks to explain a nation's unemployment rate and inflation rate as they are related to each other. The curve plots the inverse correlation between a nation's inflation rate and its unemployment rate. This means when unemployment rises, inflation rate tends to be lower, and when unemployment drops, inflation rate tend to be higher. It was first developed by William Phillips in 1958 when he noticed a correlation between wages and unemployment in the United Kingdom. Initially, Phillips's curve had the form of a straight line but, later, economists amended it to an upward sloping curve to reflect the concept of price stickiness in some circumstances. This means that prices are slow to adjust in certain situations and it takes some time before the effect of an economic stimulus or contraction is felt in the economy. This Phillips curve shows the trade-off between higher inflationary rates and lower unemployment rates. This suggests that the central bank will likely lower unemployment rates by increasing interest rates, reducing money supply, or engaging in contractionary fiscal policies. On the other hand, the central bank can reduce the inflation rate by decreasing interest rates, reducing taxes, or increasing money supply. The curve has been criticized as it does not adequately take into account how prices may react after economic stimulus. Economists have also argued that the curve is not stable over time and may have different dynamics depending on which part of the curve it is on. In the short run, the Phillips curve suggests that when the unemployment rate is high, inflation is low, and when the unemployment rate is low, inflation is high. Yet, over the longer term, the Phillips curve suggests that the relationship between inflation and unemployment is not as strong. This is because with a reduction in the unemployment rate, workers may become more productive, increasing their bargaining power and thus wage demands. This then leads to higher inflation rates shifting the curve upwards and suggesting that a lower unemployment rate can result in higher inflation rates. Therefore, the Phillips curve may not remain stable in the long run, as it may be more sensitive to economic shocks compared to the short run. The Phillips curve has also been criticized for its lack of accuracy in predicting economic changes. This is because the relationship between inflation and unemployment is not always linear, as the curve suggests. For instance, in times of economic expansion, the unemployment rate may remain constant, yet the inflation rate may still go up. Alternatively, other economic factors such as government policies or international trade may also play a role in determining inflation, which are not accounted for in the Phillips curve. Additionally, economists have argued that the curve also does not take into account the fact that high rates of inflation could lead to uncertainty in the economy, thus reducing economic activities further and leading to higher unemployment. Moreover, some economists have argued that the Phillips curve does not provide enough evidence to make precise predictions about inflation in the economy.
This is because the rate of inflation is ultimately determined by various economic conditions, which cannot be clearly identified through the Phillips curve. As such, the Phillips curve is best used to understand the dynamics between inflation and unemployment in the short term, while other economic indicators should be taken into account to make more accurate predictions in the long term. In summary, the Phillips curve is an economic tool that can be used to understand the relationship between inflation and unemployment, but should be interpreted with caution as it is not necessarily a reliable indicator of future economic conditions.